Hello, and welcome to Bipolar Opposites. My name is Tim Cubbin, and I am your host for this program. First off, I think you, my viewers, need to know a few things about myself and about this program. I think it's best that I explain the condition I'm living with. I'm living with bipolar disorder. I don't say I am bipolar, uh, I, or I have a bipolar disorder. This is the bipolar condition defines me. And that is not who I am, and that is just not the case. So I say I'm living with bipolar disorder. I'm not ashamed to share the condition I'm living with. I was diagnosed as having bipolar disorder 12 years ago. I am heavily medicated, but I don't go around wallowing in self-pity. It's not why I, it's not who I am. Is living with bipolar disorder a struggle? Yes. But I take my medications. I take a psychiatrist and therapist. I was voluntarily hospitalized uh, with an inpatient program twice in 2014. But the point is, I seek help. So I say to anyone living with any kind of illness, mental or physical, you can live a full life as long as you realize you are not your illness, you are battling with your illness. Live as you. Be you. So you are living with the condition. It doesn't define who you are. Okay, I know I'm going to be sounding a bit repetitive, but I think these points are so important that I have to reiterate them so you get all, get it all. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the show. You're probably wonder, you probably got it up about the title Bipolar, so you might be wondering about where, bi where Opposites came from. It really has that much meaning. I just thought that was cool because I wanted to have Bipolar in the title, and there is the phrase Bipolar op is Polar Opposites, so Bipolar Opposites sounded cool. So I picked that. Pretty simple, yeah? So now I'll explain the point of this show. This is to be a weekly news program. It would be pragmatic to explain that I am an English major, with a concentration in journalism with the University of Phoenix Online, and I've been taking a class in multimedia storytelling, and I thought a news approach would be interesting. So if any of you saw season one of Bipolar Opposites, you know that I talk about mental health conditions. While this is a down news program, mental health will be talked about. This show will be presented in six clips. Clip one, this was my introduction. Clip two is a serious news story. Clip three is an unusual news story. Clip 4 is an entertainment news story. Clip 5 is all I'm talking about my mental health and motivational topics. And clip 6 is, you guessed it, the conclusion. So I'll tease you the preview of the topics I'll be talking about today, even though you'll find out soon enough. First is the story of a deadly fire in New York. Second is the story of actions that, was, that were superstitious when we grew up, but maybe they should be taken seriously. Finally, the death of a newswoman. Finally, I will be talking about recognition signs of suicide, and what to do if you see them, uh, see them, and that'll be a mental health topic. So, if I've got your interest, move on to clip two. If not, oh well. But I really hope you'll continue watching.